So when you get to maintenance of something like this, I really recommend you call my IA, A&P, and partner, Brett, um, because there are not really a lot of, it's a French aircraft, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it can be very tough to find a service center that can take you in the time frame that you need, that's where you are and at a cost that's not gonna make you jump out of your shoes. So the manufacturer has a recommended maintenance plan that you must act according to. You cannot screw around with a turbine. Right? The moment you do, the moment you fall out of the manufacturer's recommendations, even if they're not the FAA, the plane just will devalue, will devalue instantaneously and you're probably putting yourself at risk. The manufacturer of a turbine is a much higher bar than manufacturers of pistons um, with the FAA and whatnot. So there's a regimen, it's called A+, B+, C+, every year the annual is one of those three. Uh, A+, isn't so bad, C+, is, uh, is pretty much uh, a rear probe. A C plus can be really expensive. So a C plus annual when it's time, like on this aircraft, I want to say it was about $15,000, right? That's how much that is. So your maintenance is definitely going to be higher. Um, you also have mandatory inspections of the engine itself. You have what's called a hot section. So every some number of hours, they have to open up the hot section of the engine where a lot of the very important parts are that spin around. They look at it and they make sure there's nothing uh, scary. If there is something scary, congratulations, you have an overhaul. Uh, hopefully there's nothing scary. Another cost of this type of aircraft is training. For you to get in this aircraft coming from a piston or even another turbine or even a jet, which was my case, I came down you know, from jets to this because that has more capability as a mission. You know, there's training. You're gonna be about 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours where you're gonna have to fly with somebody who's an expert that can sort of show you all the, the ropes. There isn't officially a required type rating for this, which actually is a huge cost savings over jets. I don't know if you know this, but if you're gonna fly a jet, anything with a jet doesn't have a prop, every year you gotta to go to flight safety or CAE or some other agency, and they can be as much as 30 to 40 to $50,000 uh, a year to get your type rating and keep your type rating current every year. So really expensive. You know, my missions for this for this aircraft turbine, I have two of them. I have uh, 101 November X-Ray, which you've seen, and I've got this, which is 900 Tango Whiskey. Um, I actually dry lease them, and I make them available to other pilots that want to get time in them to sign off for insurance. So that's one of my missions for them is to actually make them available in the context of training and of just experience so that you can fly safely in them. So if you want to transition to into a turbine, I'm one of the few places you could probably go, Brett and me, where you can actually say, listen, I need a turbine. I want to do some trips. I want some training instruction. I want to get good at this. Uh, otherwise, you have to buy one. So if you don't want to buy one and you want to try one um, with a good qualified instructor and stuff like that, I'm probably your only game in town. Uh, low, low prices every day. For my missions, um, I mostly, uh, I'm opening up a commercial lodge in Alaska. Um, I want it to be a, the ultimate fly-in community. More on that in another video, because that's a big, big project. But my missions for this is, I never know where I'm going. I never know where I'm landing. I never know where exactly I'm gonna end up having to land. That kind of sums up like my missions for an aircraft. You cannot take a jet into that world, and you cannot take really, in my opinion, a piston in that world. You really need the power and capability of a turbine. Sometimes I've got to land in under 2,000 feet. I got to because on the other side is water or a cliff, right? So a turbine with its beta and ability to slow down instantaneously is great. A TBM is a tank of an aircraft. It's a fast tank. Um, it will put up, it is extremely forgiving. So I can enter environments with an extra margin of safety um, that I don't believe is available in a piston to the same degree, certainly not with a jet. Jets are flown by the numbers and you have to say no to a lot of places and jets a lot of times. This aircraft, you can safely say yes. I've got, you know, just tremendous infrastructure in this airplane. I got tremendous speed and I can land absolutely anywhere. So whether it's Alaska or my home, Alpine Air Park in Wyoming, I can fly a procedure in snow, um, come up over the reservoir. Um, the runway can be a little bit contaminated. I know that I can slow down again. I think the key thing with the turbine is beta. Once you get a taste of beta, being able to throw your prop in reverse and slow down, it's very, very hard to want to fly anything else.